Welcome to the Empire of Israel campaign and welcome back to my Vlad von Karstein campaign for Warhammer 3 where we're going to continue the from last time with the Old World Map Mod. We're at this point in time, we were pretty aggressive last video and I'm probably going to keep that up right now, especially due to the fact that I'm trying to make sure that this campaign will eventually be switching to only being uploaded on Wednesdays once I start my campaigns that are going to be using the Thrones of the K DLC. But in the meantime, we're going to just blitz as much as we can and see how much we can do before that happens. So in the meantime, uh, right now I have it so that I have wow, taken into uh, consideration some name suggestions that were offered to me. Uh, we now have the Children of the Night. We have the Fanged Legion. I also love there was another suggestion that I, I just don't have another blood knight right now that was like the the o type negatives which i kind of like uh we also got the thirsty suckers so this represents almost all of my community and how thirsty you guys can be sometimes um uh, and that's about it for right now that i thought really makes sense to put on into the units that i have currently with us there were a couple other names that were for uh lords and agents whereas like hey one of my guys are gonna name nicholas cage for some fucking reason sure uh, uh one also has to be out of card basically obviously but uh for right now Let's get on in here. Anyway, actually, if anybody wants to see, they can literally just go to my Discord and see the list I have of all the things. But we're going to push on in here. I want to immediately start going on in here. You guys think I'll lose everybody? No. How much wins of magic? I have 60 wins of magic. They've got 20. Yeah, we, we should be okay. Uh, the specific layout for this city is... Because, like, Vlad now has his sword. So he's str way stronger now at this point. He has way more regen, so he's going to be tough as hell to kill. So let's just Okay. So, let's push on in here and take out these forces of Tomb Kings. As basically, I wouldn't really want to try and focus on securing, like, the southern side of the Empire first, as the main goal for this campaign is uniting all of the Empire under Sylvania. We're going to be having it so, like, we have those allies of mine, or, well, we're trying to make them allies, and I want to confederate them at some point, but I really think, focus on the south bit, still to try and figure out some way to deal with those dwarves to my east because I know those guys are going to be a problem for us at some point. So we'll have to try and deal with them in some regard. Otherwise, basically we might be able to start fighting the Empire today because I know we want to focus on these legions of Zetep, take them out, secure this southern border here with the fort that they control currently. And I think I'm going to burn the other city they have near that fort that the dwarves control. I could almost actually like give that over to those dwarves to make sure they're less likely to want to fight me, but they're probably going to want to fight me no matter what. Although, again, I I think the Skaven that are, like, to my southeast, I'm actually very tempted to try and work with them specifically. I think they'd actually be a pretty good force to work with, I'd say. Just because I could have them... I could actually almost give them that territory, possibly, as a way to kind of have a buffer with them. This fight right here, they have so much fodder. Oh, so much fodder. Like, I, I know for the most part... My flyers, you're going to be focusing on their their uh, skirmishers. Infantry, it's it's basic infantry, and they don't have a way to heal. I do, because they, are, they have no casters. They have just the Lord. I do have a caster, and so Isabella, you're going to be doing your thing to try and make it so we can get some healing on my army. Because as long as I get to... Well, basically, Vlad and my heroes, you guys are all going to try and take out King Satep here. Try and take him out as soon as you possibly can. Once he dies, the leadership will start to crumble a little bit. I do need to get rid of the Ushabti Great Bows, and I think I'll basically just still have my Flyers. Yeah, basically try and focus on that. I will try and see if my uh, Blood Knights and my Black Coach, if you guys can try and sneak on in to capture points. So basically, I'll have you guys all grouped up. You're going to go over here, because I'll have you guys break down the gates immediately. So you're going to go here. Infantry, I'll have you guys form up. We're going to try and have you guys try and push forward just onto the walls as soon as you possibly can. Then we have my flyers and my cav. So what we're going to do is my cav. Let's have you guys kind of hidden over here initially. Flyers, you guys just kind of chill until we figure out where their skirmishes are. Because that's what your job is. That's your job to go after all of them. These guys just need to make their way on inside to try and capture points. So let's have you go break this down. Skeleton archers are over there. And then we need to have you guys go break down the gate. And then all of my infantry here just yep, start pushing forward towards the walls. So I see some... Let's see. So there's an archer over there. Got some horse archers. Catapults are right there. So I can probably take my flyers. I think we're going to go over here first, actually. So we'll go take out this guy first because this one's isolated and alone. Over here... Just need to start trying to get into melee with you guys with my casters. I don't say they have any of my really good abilities just yet. 
But at least I know, like, Vlad's gonna be really tough to kill now with his bonuses that he has for himself. So, for the most part, get the ladders up! Get up on the walls! We do have these guys, the regiment around the Konigstein uh, Strokos. You guys start making your way up onto the walls. They do have some Nehekata warriors. That's like the best infantry they've gotten here. Like, that's about it. So, like, that's about all they've got there. Uh, that catapult I do want to deal with at some point. But not you guys. Go make your way over to that skeleton archer. Go take that one out. Then I'll probably have you go for the chariots. Artillery pieces over here. Gates on this side. Slowly taking damage. Yeah, they are doing some good damage over there. It's just my zombies, though. Zombies taking damage is not an issue. We gotta just try and tell all my infantry to walk across, get on in melee here, start trying to make your way forward. Basically, we're just really waiting for some good blobs of damage. Because if I can get you guys to blob up, I can get some really good hits with my pendulum ability. And I also have to remember that Isabella is the one that actually gets me healing for my casts. So I'm going to have her do all of the, the casting, basically. See so you guys. Hey, you're almost over here. Yeah, so get over to this one archer. You can easily take this archer out. Because they only had like three or four archers. So you can take them out. Gates are... Almost down there. Gate's just about to fall over here. Yeah, like one more hit, and that's gonna fall. Then I can start getting you guys. There we go. So start making your way forward here. Start pushing forward. If you can, try and specifically go towards the Lord. Try and focus him down, as he is gonna be the biggest problem here for us. We're trying to, like, debuff people here around you guys. You guys have now been able to break your way through. Um... They're also not as susceptible, you guys. So, Cav, again, go start just capturing points. That's your job. I see some chariots over there. That's what my flyers will be going for next. So try and go over here for these chariots. Those are some skeleton spearmen. We're going to want to ignore all of you guys. Infantry. Hey, you guys are supposed to be starting to push forward into the enemy lines. All of you. Yeah, there you go. Focus down the Lord. He's trying his best. But uh, I do not think you're going to do well around here. Let's see. They're kind of blobbed up. I don't want to blob you guys up too much right now. This costs 10. And we got 42. So to try and get the most out of my stuff, I'm going to kind of boost my army more so. To try and get healing up on everybody. It's only when they get really big blobs do I want to start trying to do pendulum. Because I, I want to make the most out of that magic. And I don't even know if we're going to need to worry about it all that much. Especially, like, with you guys over here. You guys are destroying units left and right that are just singled out here. You guys are capturing points, and with that, we'll start getting more momentum. So we have higher attack. The enemy lord's already almost dead here. I do think, let's do it. I think this is enough for a pendulum swing now. So, like, right... Kind of, like, here, basically. Yeah, like that. Because they're getting a little bit of their own healing thing. But let's do this directly towards the blob we're in. That's a decent amount of damage. Yeah, Isabel's done 9,000 damage now at this point. I still think overall we should just keep trying to cast this. Keep just boosting units that are struggling a little bit. You guys have captured this point. Let's get you to capture another point. These chariots are almost dead. Now the Lord is about to die here. One or two more hits and he's going to be out of the picture. So far... We're doing well. Taking a little bit more damage on my infantry than I would like here, but I think that's fine. Once the Lord is dead, the leadership on most of these troops will struggle a little bit more, so I'll be able to actually start taking them out and also have Vlad and Isabella actually start making their way in. And I'm going to have it so you guys kind of spread out instead of focusing all on the same spot, I'd say. Because for right now, we need to have it so we're just going to keep buffing around here, trying to get more healing up around. Flyers, I need you guys. Summon some Ushabti. I think I need to worry about the Ushabti, actually. Let's go over here. Let's get these skeletons. Oh, no. I actually get the Screaming Catapults. We need to get those first. I think you guys, since it's going to despawn, despawn anyways, I think I'm going to have you guys focus on the Ushabti. You'll be okay, I think. So you should be okay over there. Uh, I am going to have you try and heal my other vampire. She's taking a little bit of damage there. Wait, no. The Blood Knights are doing really good damage to the Ushabti. As soon as we can, though, we need to get away from these Spearmen. Although, part of me feels like maybe I should turn you guys around. I think for right now... Oh. Those. Yeah, this is why I need to focus on those. But yeah, let's get rid of these archers first. Get rid of those. And then we'll still focus on the catapult. Uh, I can get another heal up here in a second. Keep trying to boost my graveguard to give them a little bit more damage. 
for right now, though. I'm kind of sad I don't have any big AoE damage on Vlad right now. Like, he's got good damage. He's hard to kill. Like, he's going to take, like, basically no damage at all around here. But no, you're still kind of... You can't do a ton of damage really quickly like I would like you to. Let's see, you guys are almost done over here. Now go for the Screaming Catapult, because those guys are crumbling. Over here. Do Shopti fell. Let's ignore you. Let's just ignore that Spearman and just run away to a different spot. Just try and ignore them for right now. Isabella almost has another heal here in a second. Although there's some pretty big blobs. I think I'm going to have you do some pendulums now. It's like there's a really big blob right here. Try and angle it right towards where you're actually at. Because you can get a good spot right here. Destroy these pitiful fools. And yeah, do some good damage there. There's a big blob around here too that I might do another one in a second. Some of my zombies are possibly going to die. That's not surprising. Let's keep boosting you guys to give you some more benefits. If anything at all, I know my army can easily just... Uh, or just basically, Vlad and my heroes. You guys can win this fight on your own. I know you guys easily could. Catapults are crumbling. Let's pull out of here, away from those spearmen. I think I'm probably going to want to go for these archers next. Oh, those ones are still firing on speed. Let's go over here first. Go over there. You guys are about to start capturing this point, and then you can go for the final point as well here. Let's see. Number-wise, like, we're doing well. I'm doing... They're starting to crumble here. Some of those skirmishers are still doing well over here. Let's hit you with a pendulum, specifically. Strong binding for all of you guys. You still have some good ammo, though. Yeah, good damage right there. And then I need to get some more healing in a second here. I want I don't want to lose my graveyard, especially the Children of the Night. Oh, you're the ones that are being shot there right now. Ah, uh, yeah, please capture that sooner. Yeah, these guys are all crumbling. All my forces keep pushing forward. Vlad, I want you to try and go for those greater shop if you can. I'm probably going to have, uh, once I have enough ma um, magic, I'm actually going to put this onto you guys. So I do not want to lose you, so let's give you a big heal over there. Try and get my vampire lords and everything over to you guys a little bit to help over on this section, because some of my guys are crumbling over there now. Capture this point. Start trying to go for uh, this final point now. Flyers. Yep, you're just about done with those archers. Try and get these archers now. The ones that were shooting my graveyard. I think they're crumbling now. I think I see every single one of them, except for a couple, are crumbling. So yeah, flyers, try and make your way up here. I just don't have a whole lot of extra magic right now. But yeah, flyers, make your way in here. This area is doing well. You Shabti, once you're dead, I think they'll lose a really big unit for themselves. You're trying to boost you guys to get more healing for the entire army. Am I going to actually get to keep everybody? I might be able to. It's really close. Yep, there we go. They hit army losses. Beautiful. Not bad. Yeah, I didn't lose any of my units. I'd say that's pretty good right there. Good amount of damage on everybody. Zombies, I definitely need to replace you at some point. Yeah, Isabel did some good damage there. Graveguard did good damage. You did good damage. You guys didn't really do a whole lot, but you're skeletons and zombies, so I'm not surprised by that. Then we have 13,000 damage on you guys. Hell yeah. Oh, there we go. I think I actually get, should get another uh, blood kiss from this as well, so that I'll be able to have it so that I can get slowly but surely... Like, that's one thing I really love about doing using the Old World mod for this. There's so many lords. There's so many lords for me to get blood kisses from, so I can easily, like, unlock um, all of the different uh, bloodlines and everything like that really quickly. I love that, honestly. Like, I, I hope that, honestly, I think this campaign, especially since uh, I'm going to be doing the whole Thrones of Decay stuff, I'm going to be, like, putting a little bit more effort into this one to have it so I get more per video, basically. Like, kind of like I'm doing with um, the... Oh, I did lose a zombie. Oh, no! <laughs> I lost a zombie. Um, like I've been doing the Medieval Kingdoms 1212 mod. Oh, we did get some tire wolves. Hey, the tide got some zombie regiment now. Hellsteed on Isabella. And then we've been able to secure this area. Hell yeah. Let's see. We're probably going to want to just try and get some more growth around here. I still need a, a necromancer around here. So actually, if I. Let's see, this takes one turn. It's not grow it to the right level. Um. This is about to finish soon. So as soon as this finishes up, then I can get a Necromancer. I'll probably just put a Necromancer in that other slot, actually. Don't need to get a new uh, unit. I'll just get a Necromancer, because then I can have constant healing on my units instead of having to wait on my army um, cast. 
I'm now high enough level that I can start doing my own personal lines. So more movement range, speed, and then first thing I want to grab is... So it just gives units all of my faction wide experience. I can just do that. I don't have any of the handgun and stuff in here right now. This is only on a flying unit. I probably just get the uh, Coven of Undeath. Because just having some uh, passive AoE or passive experience for all units every turn. That's great. World. Isabella needs one more turn and then she can also get that upgrade as well. Um, I would probably have you get Evasion, I think, right now. And then probably Magical Reserves. You're supposed to keep getting more defenses for yourself right now. So you'll be good there. And then we got a commandment in this area, which I'm just going to go with the growth and reduce construction cost. Go with that. Basically, uh, with that one big army of theirs now out of the way, I don't think I'm going to have to worry too much with a lot of the stuff. Uh, the, do they have more land down here? It kind of looks like they do. I can't tell right now. kind of looks like they might. Let's see. How much the land do these guys have? So these Tomb Kings have four regions. So uh, they, have, they have at least one more territory. So they have one more territory down here. I know of this one. I'm going to save that one for last, simply because I know that one is going to make me bored of the Empire. So we'll be turning back around this way. This territory I'm probably going to burn. This territory I want to keep. Um, and then I don't think I'm going to keep this territory down here. I can actually try and sell that off to somebody. Ooh, actually... Again, I think... The Skaven I'm talking to... I'm, I'm pr I feel like you guys have got to be this one. Three regions. You probably control these three territories. I could give you that territory. I'm tempted to do that. Yeah, because you're, you're at war with uh, Zulfbar. You've got to be right here. I want to try and keep Clan Farrak alive. I want you to be my allies. So other than that right now, I don't think I have anything to build right now, do I? No, I don't. Oh, what's going on? Assume another quest. Yep, another quest. The Von Kastan Ring. What's in this army? So it's other undead. Oh, they've got a Mortis engine there. Do I want to do that yet? That would allow me to get a ridiculous amount of ward save. Uh, I'm tempted to do that. I think I want to wait. Cosmic Preservation there. That'd be nice to get. Um, for right now, though, let's see. So let's move my way up this way. Go in. Oh, I don't have any camera stamps. Am I allowed to regenerate while I'm doing this? Otherwise, I might want to sit here for one turn. Because I know you're scouting. So they do control like this one other territory, which I don't really want to keep. Uh, I don't like how those Skaven are losing to these dwarves. I, I do want to try and give them that territory. Give my train raid while we're doing this. I don't recover, but that's that's okay. Nothing in here again. I want to get that as a uh, I want to get that as a necromancer. So let me grab a necromancer here, and then also, uh, what is the age in action you guys do? Yeah, you steal technology. Okay, so then, that actually allows me to do something that I want to do. There was a name suggestion. So I'm probably going to actually have it be... Let's see, Lord Keeper. Um, I kind of want to grab that. Yeah, you're going to... You, Peter! Peter is going to be the one that joins my army. Uh, but then, I want to get another Necromancer, which is specifically for agent actions. And uh, we were going to be naming you... It was uh, Dibin... Von Karstein, you were going to be the one that was going to steal technologies for us. So, Peter, you'll make your way over here. You'll try and join my army. And then I'll have it so that, Daibin, uh, you're going to start trying to steal technology from people. So, you're going to be trying to do that. I need to start trying to, again, keep building up more of this stuff. I want to try and... Let's see. Oh, also, do I... That finishes next turn. Then I can get a White King, too. Okay, so for right now, though... Let's see, so this is... Over here. You should be safe. I don't need to get garrisons in that area. I will upgrade this. And then I would probably say for you... Be able to get some Crypt Horrors... And or eventually be able to get to the better Corpse Carts and stuff. That is not a bad thing for us to do. So I think we'll start trying to get the Defiled Cairn. Try and get that. That's what she'll do. And then other buildings I can get right now. 
you can just upgrade this territory. Yeah, that was just like this area over there. So that's what you'll grab. And then next turn, I'll be able to make my way in here. I don't think uh, Dokadam is going to be able to do much against us. Should be able to just burn that down. And I'll, I'll take, I'll conquer this area. Then I burn, uh, I'll have it so we'll go here first. I want to try and give, I want I want these Skaven to survive. I want them to survive and I want them to be my allies. So I'll try and have it so I can give them these two pieces of territory to see if that'll keep them alive. Ooh, also, Ark in the Black over here. I am not opposed to having you be an ally. Actually, I think you'd be a better ally for that area, actually. Yeah, no. Let's let's ally with Ark in the Black. I, I think he'd actually be a really good ally. I forgot he was so close to me. So I think we'll have it so like, okay, those Skaven, sure, it'd be nice to have them work with me. But I feel like they're just going to die no matter what. So this other land that I don't want, I'm going to give to Arkin and see if he'll give me an alliance for that. And then also, I could have it so if I have to, if I have a war start with those dwarves, I'll give him that territory. I'd love to make him a really strong ally. Because also, I think it'd be kind of cool to get some Tomb King units from him. He, he has vampire units, so I think that's a reasonable enough reason for us to work with him. So like, I, I like that idea. I, I really do like that idea. Because who is he at war with right now? I, I need to double check who's he, who he is at war with. And hopefully we can kind of help him grow a little stronger to support us. Because like right now... More physical resistance for zombies. Nice. Gotta love that. So at the moment... So he actually controls quite a bit of land around down here. So he... So he's just at war with these northern confederacy yes. guys. Yeah, that's just all you're, who you're at war with. He doesn't like me. I actually can get a non-aggression pact with him immediately. And get one coin out of him. So you do that. And then I might be able to get some trade with him soon. So for right now, though... Uh, we have a mission actually now to take this territory, which oh raid the fallen region. I'm already raiding it, but I'm about to conquer it too. So I could go over here, but now I'm, I'm just gonna conquer this because this should be fine. I lose. I will use lose one of my bat boys. How fucking dare you? No, I'm not losing one of my bat boys. No, I'm not losing a bat boy for this. So let's push on in here. This will be quick. Uh, take this out. This army should be pretty easy to destroy. And then we'll have it so that uh, we'll keep making my way. So we'll conquer this territory. Then we'll have it so... Again, I think I should go for the southern territory first. Go for the southern territory first. Then we'll basically be like doubling back and hitting that uh, other hold these guys have that's in the mountains. And I'll see if I can give that... Like, Arkin already likes me. So I think it is going to be pretty possible for us to get him to have an alliance with us. Alrighty, so let's see. So what we're gonna go with is let's get you guys line up first initially. All my infantry, you guys can just kind of form up as you'll just be rushing towards the walls. Um, I'll basically have uh, you guys also just help us try and destroy the gates just to make it to go a little bit faster. So just start the plummet, start the battle. Isabella and everybody start going up here. Infantry up to the walls, please. And flyers, uh, you guys need to go after any sort of skirmishers that we see. So that's gonna be your job. And also, you guys can now fly around here too. I forgot about that. Okay, now, so for right now, just break down the gates with my vampires. And I'll have my cap also try and help us out around here. Infantry, yeah, just start trying to rush forward. You guys can start soaking up some good damage, I'd say. Also, this gives more speed, so I'll do that as well so you guys get up onto the walls a little faster. Yeah, destroy these skirmishers one at a time. So yeah, go for this one first. Those Nehekata warriors I don't want to deal with. Just kind of back away from there. Just kind of back away. Hit these chariots now. Gates are duh, not down. Nope, they're just glitched. They're just glitched. Okay, well, infantry is starting to make their way up onto the walls. Flyers. So you can keep giving some more boosts over here. Just get healing for the entire army in general. Let's get you guys to pull back. Let's try and go for this other archer that I see over here. We kind of pull back a little bit right there. Oh, you guys are struggling a little bit there. Pull back. You better not make me lose one of my bat boys, you little shits. Okay, gates are now destroyed, though. So I can get my casters in here, get my cav. You're just going to try and push forward and see if I can just get you to capture points, basically. That's going to be your job. Infantry, yeah, you've just been wiped out. It was one of my bat boys, you little shits. God damn it. It's fine. He might recover. He might recover. That's fine. But yeah, Isabella, just keep getting some more healing up on some of these guys. You guys are trying to pull back. You're not supposed to be fighting things right now. You're supposed to be running away. Run away there. Cavalry. Okay, at least one of you did get over here. So yeah, start trying to capture points there. 
leave everybody else to Isabella and everyone. So I'll have it so Isabella, let's switch to damage mode now. So start trying to hit some of those guys. You can do some pretty good damage there. There we go. Okay, infantry just start pushing forward into their forces. You two can just keep capturing things here. And you guys, I'm gonna lose my other fucking bat boys. God damn it. That's fine. I know bats are a thing. I'm not gonna really keep in this army all that often. I just kind of feel bad like losing those little units. But I really shouldn't. Yeah, because at this point in time, I've been able to take this one point, moving everybody else now to capture the final one. I have them at the point where they think they're going to start crumbling soon. Like, a lot of you guys are struggling. Some of my guys are struggling, though, too, as well. I'm trying to heal one of these guys, but it won't let me heal them for some reason. So I might technically lose my guys there if I don't get a good heal off. So it won't let me do it onto them. Is it because you guys are on the walls? Maybe because you guys are on the walls there. But we now took a... We're about to take a victory point here. Yeah, we're just being shot at. But as soon as you take that, those towers will be destroyed. Come on. Yeah, all four of those towers need to die, because those are actually some pretty beefy towers right now. There we go. Okay, Isabel, can you please heal this guy? It's gotta be because he's on the fucking walls. Come on, before he dies. Before he dies. Ah, okay. It's fine. I'll get him back. He's just about to break anyways now at this point in time. Also, I might get them back anyways. Like, that's the whole thing about the, the undead I love. It's like, oh yeah, we lost this unit. Well, you might get them back anyway, so it doesn't really matter as much. Right, there's army losses for them. There you go. Because most of my damage potential anyways is always on my lords and everything. So yeah, technically, two zombies, bat boys, and that one regiment of renown. They all died. But, again, the more things that die, the more chances I have to just be able to respawn units. Or, uh, well, not respawn. That's, that's the vampire stuff. I have to have high vampire corruption to respawn units. Um, it's also, I mean, that we might unlock just a good pool of dead so that we can just raise more units. But no, those Nehekar warriors actually did some pretty good damage to some of my guys. Like, the Grave Guard do well against them, but the rest of my infantry gets bodied by them. Like, there's not a lot, like, okay, this army here, I'm probably going to have it so that, like, my endgame ar army for this force. I do like having a couple Grave Guard in Vlad's army. I think we'll maybe have three or four of them. Uh, I do want Terror Geist, I do want Var Geist, and I want some Blood Knights, I think. I think those, like, those are like, the main units I really use a lot of. And I am tempted to have... So like if I have like four units of Grave Guard... Recover, I recovered th this guy, and one of my... Uh, so I only lost my Bat Boys and uh, the Zombies. That's okay. So occupy the territory. And then I'll be able to have it so that... Uh, yeah, it was boarded. But, Ray's dead. So I can just get... Well, actually, um, is this almost done here? It is now, so I need a White King now. So I would say... Let's go with Deiter. Let's go with Deiter. Let's go with you. So I've got two units over here to try and join on up with us now. So we need you to join us. Because um, I do eventually want to be able to get those handgunners. So like, we could have this, like... Actually, I, maybe we'd have it just so it's, like, three Graveguard two uh, units of handgunners, a bunch of Argeist, and a bunch of uh, Blood Knights, and then it's like some more ascensions. I, I like that idea for my army for Vlad's forces. But Vlad now, again, let's keep upgrading himself. So I would say... I do want to grab that at some point. I'm probably just going to grab you yet, just this for right now. Isabella can now get her own one, so that now gives more melee attack and leadership for Vargais and everything. So that's what you'll grab. You, uh, Immortal Will... Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Gives you more regen now, too. So you can grab that, and then I think for the raised dead stuff for right now, let's just grab two more bad boys. Just two more bad boys, and then we'll have it so those two heroes are going to be coming down this way and joining on up with us as well. Research-wise now... So, let's see. Natural strength. And it's over here is when I finally get bonuses to me yeah, at my grave guard and everything. Um, or melee defense for them. Having them just last longer would be great. I don't need this one. This is like something I can get way later. I don't need to care about that. I do think recruit cost. Perfect Vigor for them would be nice. 
weapon strength for them. I'm not opposed to doing this. Yeah, get, get up to unnatural strength with them. So, try and do that. Expand and then you... The so, at the moment right now... I don't know if I need you to really explore around here all that much. I might have you kind of explore up here a little bit more, though. So, you can do that. And then, yeah, again. Dibin. Dibin, you're going to start going to just steal technology. And we'll have it so... I'm going to have you go up here. So, I, I, they already hate me. So, I'm going to steal technology from these orcs. Not from the dwarves. If I do it for the, against the dwarves, the dwarves are going to hate me. Um, over here... Start getting some more money from that. Let's get you that. And then I would say this area. I need more money. So get the gibbet, because that gives me more money and more control. So do that. And then this area here. Definitely get the growth and the reduced construction cost, I would say. Hi, Carl Franz. Let me guess. Ah, the non oppression pact. I was expecting war. I was expecting war immediately, but so far. I haven't been doing a whole lot against the Empire, so I can kind of understand why. But hey, now we have to worry about the fact that yeah, he broke the non-aggression pact. That's okay. Again, we're trying to gather some forces over here in the east right now. Before we make my way back up around to try and start dealing with the Empire. These uh, Tomb Kings that I'm at war with are almost dead. It's going to just take me, like, like, next turn. Do I have enough movement to hit that one city of theirs? I want to hit that city to the south of theirs. Give that to... Uh, Arkan and see if that's going to be enough to get an alliance with you. We're waiting on my heroes to get over here. So the Necromancer and the White King. Those two need to join us. We need to take out that one um, area in the mountains. Also, try and give that over to Arkan. Because, yeah, you're making your way over there and then Dieter Skellen uh, is also supposed to make his way over here. So they're starting to gather a little army over here. I can actually hit that first. Oh, no, I can hit this first. Yeah, hit this. And then I... I lose my bat boys again. Fuck you. I guess fine. Stop killing my bat boys. But now... I have it so... Let's see. I can just get them back. Um... Let's see. I'm going to back out of here for a second. And I now want to try and just see... If I give this over to Arkin, will he want alliance? He likes me. He may be able to so let me himself. trade settlement. Let me give My you. Um, it is Munzing. This one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he would gladly give me the military alliance with that and a decent amount of money. Perhaps. Hell yeah, man. Um. You already have military access with you. Good. But yeah, no, beautiful. So now we have an alliance with you. You are now going to help us defend my southern border a little bit. And then I will start making my way up. And then if you take that territory, yeah, I can then give you this one. So I will now start turning my way back around this way. Raise Deadpool. Um, I hate that we don't have a lot of good kills. I'm just going to grab like this and this. Grab that for right now, because we need two slots for heroes. So, Vlad, you need to uh, get the monster strength. Grab that. We'll keep making my way back up around here. So, be uh, one more turn of replenishment. Then we have to hit you guys. Building wise, oh, Castle Drakonov can grow. Hell yeah. So, grab that, I would say. Economy's starting to build up a little bit more, though. And I did get. Tra can I get trade with anybody else right now? If I pay you. Welcome. I just don't have enough money right now. But I would like you to start trying to trade with you guys if I can. Why are, we, why are you disliking me? Treaties with what? Okay, so you don't like each other. <laughs> oh, you two are fighting each other, that's why. So... I only need one of you really to work with me. So it doesn't really matter who... So as, one of you guys, as long as one of you guys win, I'll just trade and try and work with whoever wins. Alrighty, looks like the forces of... Uh, I think this is probably the... Two meetings. Yeah, you guys are moving an army up this way. It's kind of get a decent army there. Vlad's making his way up, though. So he'll be trying to take this territory next turn. Uh, Isabella... Let's see, so... Ooh, my bat boy's gonna be stronger! So we have hunger and the, uh, and the hunger for my uh, direwolves and bats. But also, do we want to get that right now? Um, I hate that this only affects flying units. Uh, Queen B. 
I'm sad that I can't have you get the, uh... The world. Lore Master of Lore Vampires thing. King of I do kind of want to grab this, though. It's fine. Kind of sad that that doesn't give it to, uh... Well, the Vargas already have healing. So we don't have to worry about that. Um... It'd be a wasted point if I put that in there. I can get it for other things. I think, honestly, getting more... Uh, yeah, vigor, vigor loss reduction for the army. And then reduces cooldown for Red Fury and Bloodlust. All characters, which I don't know what that ability is. Oh, that's that's these abilities. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing that gives us more damage. I don't have that yet on uh, Vlad. I almost have Dark Benediction. Just gives leadership. I'll give you uh, more health, especially since we have ways to heal. So, keep doing that. I'm a little worried about that one arm they've got around over there. I've almost got you back over here to join on up with Vlad. Same with Dytheter. So you guys are making your way over here to join him. And then, I again, we're trying to have it so that I will be trying to steal technology from you guys. Because I'm already at war with you, so we'll do that. Uh, then building-wise, let's see. Um, I could upgrade this. Or I could upgrade and get something fancy. So this is... I'm trying to see where this city is. So that's the one right there. Probably be okay to not have put defenses there. Probably gonna upgrade this. That gives me a little bit more money. And then I can get... Yeah, the, the gibbet. Get some control and some money from that. I need more money. I'm just pretty piss poor. Like, I'm barely making cash. I know part of that's just because of like what I've been upgrading and what I've been grabbing for my armies. But hey, we have it. So now I have an alliance now with uh, Arkin, which I'm pretty happy about. So hopefully he'll be able to. We're gonna be able to help try and grow him strong. Because I'll probably try and have it so that I want to keep giving him land to my south. I really like the idea of just giving Arkin a ton of land to my south, build him up to be a really strong ally to the south to help defend us around there. And uh, if I need to, again, if these dwarves ever can't pick a fight with me, I'm going to give that land over to Arkin, I'd say. We could actually have it so we just specifically, like, when I can field a second army, like, specifically actually go over that way and conquer that stuff just to give it to him so he's stronger. Let's see, so settlement is besieged. So he started sieging us over here. Okay, so that does have walls. Uh, Vlad's almost there. Okay, because Vlad is not able to get over... I'm honestly not too opposed if I lose this territory. Vlad, I think we should actually have you hit this. I can't get my uh, Necromancer just yet. So what we're probably going to be doing is then... I think we're going to be taking this. Let's see. It says low victory, low casualty. So I'm actually going to take that. And then I want to have it. So what we're going to do is... I want to I want to take this territory. I do want to occupy it. And I got some more Regiment of Renowns there. Because what I want to do is Vlad move out of this area, and then we're going to give this over to Arkin again. Because again, I want to make him a strong ally. So yo, I want to give you... Uh, am I not able to give you this one? Province Black Mountains. I am not able to give you that territory. I'd have to give you this one. Which actually... I'm not up. Before I knew I was going to have an ally around here, I wanted to control this myself. I'm not opposed to giving it to you. How much money can I get from that? I can get a little bit. I can almost. I'm, I'm not. I can't vassalize you, but I'm. I actually am tempted to do that. It doesn't make me money. It's a fort. Fuck it. Let's give you that territory, and then I should now, for sure, be able to give you this territory. So I can get a little bit of money each time. That means you will fucking love me. So you can be the one that's going to be in charge of defending these areas. I am not. So now I'm going to be making my way up here. I think technically... No, we're okay as we are. Uh, Vlad. I do think I'm going to want to get the... Okay, do they have these flying units in that army? It's only useful to use that thing if I, they have flying. Let's see, it says decisive defeat. It's just a bunch of basic infantry. Okay. I'm going to be making my way up there, though, in a second. So we're not going to get that right now. I would say we should start trying to get over here, keeping more of his, own, his personal uh, yellow line. So let's get more... Um, yeah, Quick Bud. Isabella. 
I need to get the local vampire corruption, and then I'll be able to get this, which does get more speed, passive wayfarer, and then also discourage on them as well. So that'd be really good to grab for you. You need to keep getting more health around here, and then still just need to keep moving you over this way. So keep trying to make your way over to Vlad. We might have to reclaim this city. I'm going to hope that maybe they back off, but they're probably not going to. Uh, you keep scouting around here. Kind of want to just kind of know like what's going on around this area, basically, like what they control. I don't want those dwarves to get too strong. You need to go over here and keep trying to steal technology. So keep trying to do that. I'm just going to have you be an agent, and you're just trying to get us a lot more research rate, basically. So upgrade the steel technology thing, and then I'll have you get specialist next after that. And that's just really going to be what you're focusing on. So just keep spamming steel technology uh, away from these guys so I can get more research rate. And then building-wise, uh, I don't want to really build that right now. Let's see. So this area, I think, is okay for me to get this. Oh, I need more money. I'm going to start getting more of this stuff for money. So grab that. I think you... I would like to get some Cryptors. It's not a thing I'm going to be using a lot in Vlad's army, but it is something I would like to have in this territory. I think I would like to upgrade as well, because it does have that resource. <sighs> Alrighty, so they are going to attack this before I'm able to get over here again. I'm actually going to try and defend this, because this is a walled city. I might be able to do a bit of damage and weaken this force immensely, and that's kind of the hope. Because Vlad's on his way over here. If we lose, we lose. That's okay. But I want to see if we can do a good amount of damage before they get here. Because right now, like, Vlad's army already could he can easily destroy this force. But I wanted to see if we can make it a little bit easier for him. Because for the most part, they have just a ton of infantry. A couple chariots, a couple cav units. And I basically want to just try and see. Hopefully they attack some of the wall sections that have a lot of towers. Because the towers might be able to do a lot of damage. That's basically what we're hoping for. Because let's see. So most of their troops are down over here and over here. So the areas that do have towers. So what we're going to do is let me get my guys off the walls initially. Um, let's see. I think it's more important for us to try and hold this section. Look how much more of my towers are active over here. But they sadly aren't. So I need to get my, you guys over here because this is where they have most of their men. Skeletons are the better troops out of all of them. I'll have you guys up here, just try and turn as many towers on as possible. So that's one group. And we'll have all my zombies over here. And at least my zombies do have the uh, increased armor physical resistance right now. So you guys will be tougher to kill because of that. And then you guys, I have no idea what the fuck these two are doing. <laughs> Honestly. Um, let's see. Towers. The towers have a way shorter range now than they used to. So it's not going to really matter as much where we put the towers. Because, like, you guys just have a far shorter range here. And it's more so just hoping that even if they if they get through these areas... Because I, I can't hold a spot now with the torps, troops I have. Basically, I'll probably have you guys maybe... I could have you maybe distract them over here. Or maybe I should have you help over. I think you should help out on this side. Yeah, so you'll help out on this side. We'll start deployment. Start the battle. And see what we can do. Because hopefully the towers... Do some good amount of damage here. Because, like, if we could just do some good damage, I will be pretty happy here. Any units we can, like, fully crumble away, the better. So, like, hey, I'll have you guys hop out against the Carrions here. Hopefully they'll actually, like, fight. Go, my pet boys! <laughs> deal with the Carrions. Deal with the best you can. As you guys can deal with them and try and do some good damage. I'll be able to hopefully get rid of a full unit. So that's kind of the hope here. I kind of hope you guys maybe... Are you winning that fight? Pretty even right now, it looks like. Oh, no, no, it looks like they're taking way more damage. Yeah, no, my bat boys! My bat boys are winning against these fuckers. It's just a fucking mess. <laughs> Seeing what's going on here. But go, bat boys, go! You're winning against the Carrions. This tower... It's almost about to be destroyed. Almost. If you guys had that a little bit higher up in damage potential, I think you would be able to work. If anything, I'll just keep trying to... Keep building up towers around the areas we're trying to hold... And basically, I'm just hoping that we can just do as much damage as we can with the towers. Like, this carrion's dying, so at least be able to kill that one carrion. That's good. Uh, over here, damage-wise... Skeleton Archers, uh, guys are doing a bit of damage there. You're just staying in front of the tower, so you're being shot at, so that's perfect. Yeah, like, the Crypt Ghoul's doing well over here. We're, we're holding. I did eventually lose to the carrions. That's okay. But for right now, though, we are doing good damage. If we can, like, I'm, I'm holding them entirely on this side. This area is struggling a little bit. You're fighting the Carrions now. Please kill them. 
please do. Zombies, they're the weaker of the two forces, so I'm not surprised you guys are getting your asses kicked. Crypt Ghouls are doing well over here, though. And this is the side that had more of them, so I'm hopeful that this area will be able to hold a way longer. As of anything at all, these towers are getting to continuously shoot over here, so that's perfect. I'll keep trying to have it so that you guys, right now, I want to keep trying to upgrade these towers here so these guys can keep providing support. Because, like, I'm doing well! This is this is holding well. You guys are crumbling, so you're going to die, but I'll try and see if I can maybe get you guys to survive and stay alive as long as you possibly can. This is holding well? Uh, my forces over here are getting their asses kicked, but at the moment right now, I have been able to get a tower active, and you are trying your best to try and shoot these guys here, so keep trying to do what you can around over here, because this is one of the explosive towers, so if you can keep firing, that'd be great. Over here, you guys have held entirely at this side right now. Uh, they're kind of still trying to make their way up onto the walls. I kind of want you to focus down some units, but also I don't want you to run away from here, because at the moment... Oh, yeah, now they're not staying in the areas right now that it really matter. Yeah, I'm going to have to start being a bit more aggressive. I think we should wait a little bit until, like, this side fall fully falls. Once this side fully falls, then um, I probably get the... L I won't be able to do much more with these towers. But the longer I can just have you guys sit here being shot at by the towers, the better for us. Because yep, here they come. So they've now pushed on in through this side. So now, this area, they're going to be able to start... Yeah, this point's going to be captured soon here. Basically, I want to wait until this section's captured, and then that's when we kind of go all in with what we got around here. I can at least try and focus on what they have up on the walls right now. Like, focus you guys down. You keep trying to focus these units down. Like, I, I am at least getting my money's worth out of this. Like, this is exactly what I wanted, where I am guaranteeing that certain units are completely dead, which is exactly what we want right now. Like, I've been able to build up another tower over here. And I think any second now, though, we're getting close to army losses. And so that's why I wanted to wait on really committing heavily with you guys. Because once I hit army losses, the entire army is just going to die. So we got to let the towers do what they can. So if you guys want to start like making your way over here to get like towards this tower, that'd be great. Because you can be shot a little bit longer over here. This one, you're doing a little bit of damage here. I wish this point would have been able to hold a little bit longer. But I feel like... Yeah, like once these units crumble away, I'm then getting off the walls. I'm going to try and go for this chariot next. Because this is good. This is good. Good amount of damage with this. I'm pretty happy with how this went. I think this is going to be a pretty good amount of damage to them. I'm hoping that maybe they just sack the territory. It's entirely possible. Uh, if they occupy the territory, they lost a lot. And Vlad is not that far away. So he'll be able to finish these guys off. Then we just have to go for the last territory they control. And... That'll be the end of them. I'm definitely killing these guys before the end of today. Um, I feel like I want to try and see if I'm going to be able to do the Von Karstein Ring quest too before we're done for today. Because I think I just need to get a full stack army again. And then I think we can try and do that. It's against a bunch of other uh, undead. And with how strong Vlad is getting, um, I feel like we're not going to have to worry too much about doing that. Plus, the ward save ability he can get is really nice. So it'd be great to try and get that as soon as we possibly can. But no, I'd say this is pretty good. This was a pretty good fight here. We did a lot of damage to them. Because let's see. So that is, yeah, Valiant Defeat. It said decisive before. I ended up making them lose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 units. Almost 10 units. They almost lost half their army um, in full units dead. The, the Crypt Horrors did a really good amount of damage there. But no, that, that's perfect. That, that was perfect. That is exactly what we wanted. Now we get to have it so that Vlad is going to make his way back up here. If you guys sack the territory, perfect. That means I'll get to still control the territory. If you take it, then I will have to destroy you guys as well. But hey, they took so much damage. Like, this is a way weaker army than what they started out with. Yeah, because let's see. What are you guys going to do? You going to attack? They, they took it. But a lot of things died around there. So actually, there might be a really good raised dead pool now. Let's see. 14 units. I'm curious about that. They're going to try and recruit, but all they're going to be able to really recruit is going to be a bunch of just basic dudes. I'll try access. Sure, I'll take that. Because for right now, we got a really good ally to the south. Arkin likes us, and so we'll keep fostering that relation. This army here took a bit of good damage. I've been given a mission now to go over there. Let's see. So what what is the mission? Confederation, Reichland, and Midland. We lost that territory. Got a, uh, a Banshee, though. Ooh. Uh, I need to get you over here, too. 
So I got a, I got a Banshee. Do I already have something for increased movement? Okay, okay, let's go here. We need to put the Necromancer in the army. Because, let's see, so you give um, Replenish Troops. Yeah, you give Replenish Troops. You give Training. And then you give Increased Mobility. Okay, so yeah, we're going to have all of you in this army. Although I think, uh, no, Isabella gives it scouting. Okay. Um, I'll probably just replace one of the zombies, probably. Or one of the skeleton spearmen when we get them over here. But no, so we'll just be making my way over here. I'm at least getting some replenishment. They're trying to recruit. Uh, there are some crypt ghouls in that area, though, too, actually. So there are some better units around there a little bit. Let's see. You keep scouting. Just gotta run over here. Can I do the uh, steel technology on the same one? Let's see, has stones from foreign settlements. I don't know if it's unique or if it's just... It's only it's one time. Yeah, now it's 23%. I'll probably try and do it to a different settlement uh, to see if that will be what gets it higher than just 23%. But I'll have you keep trying to get specialists, keep trying to upgrade that. So it costs less for you to do that. And then around here, I don't want to get that building just yet. I want to keep trying to focus on my economy. So like this is great for just getting some more growth around here. And then I'll have it so that basically we'll just keep trying to save my money for right now. Alrighty, looks like they're trying to recruit something outside of the city now. Um, I should have just enough range for this. Let's see. So, go right here. Get you to join us. And then I do now have a full stack army again. And now I'm going to be able to lure them out of the city. Oh, this could be great. Although, oh, no, these guys can't get feared, though, which is great. Oh, you're going to run like a bitch, though. Okay. I want to lure you all out. Oh, no, no way in hell am I losing all that. No way in hell. Let's see, more leadership. Uh, I'm putting them on Bat Boys. <laughs> Actually, I almost want to just name these guys bat the Bat Boys. You know what? I'm going to do that. You guys are now going to be named the Bat Boys. So you're now the Bat Boys. I'm starting it now. Should have started it earlier, but now you are officially the Bat Boys. But no, let's, let's get on in here. I should be able to easily deal with these guys. It's, it's just a bunch of fodder. It's all it is. Like, Vlad alone is getting to the point eventually where he could just, like, just solo this army specifically. Some of the bigger things would be a problem, but everybody else is not. So basically, we'll just push on in here again with all my guys. And if anything at all, I do appreciate how my guys are having more experience now. And hey, I have more... Uh, now, I have a Necromancer. I've got a Necromancer, and I have a White King. So we'll be able to have it so, basically, the White King is going to join all my vampires in going on in melee. The Necromancer is going to focus on trying to just stay near nearby the forces of undead that are fighting, but not get too close because if he's in melee, then that resets his um, regen. So we're going to want him to be further back. So we'll have it so this is one group. You're going to be in your own little group. And these guys are their own little group. And then we'll kind of do the same thing. Flyers grouped up, Cav grouped up. Cav is going to be again over here capturing points. Flyers I'll have kind of over here for right now. I'll have you guys at the gate. And then we want you kind of just chill right there. I'll have you guys here. Uh, and then about here. Start the battle. Start the deployment. You all just go to the walls. You guys make your way towards the gates. And you want to get like kind of like right here. You want to be next to the wall. You want to be near them because it's this area. I believe is how big it needs to be. No, it's smaller than that. It is smaller than that, so you have to be like really close to them to make sure they get the bonus. But that should be okay. I will have, at least for right now, flyers. Let's see. I don't see any... There's that one unit I saw. You guys should go over here. This is, let's see, that's a spearman, so we don't want to fight that. I don't see any other archers besides that one. These two. So we might just wait until you guys get in melee. I'm taking some damage, though, from the towers. Yeah, it's just kind of trying to pull you away there. But yeah, you guys trying to break down the gates. So bring that down as quickly as you can. And now be a little bit better now that we have at least my White King here. But yeah, infantry, at least. You guys get all up on the walls. Start spreading out. Start trying to conquer. And just try and force your way in to the city. So get on in there. And you... I think. Let's see. So let's see. Oh, that's what I'm trying, to do. I'm trying to see. 
So this area around you is here. So people on the walls will be affected by that. So I'll have you do that. Once like the walls are secure and you guys are pushing down the walls, I'll probably have it so we'll adjust you. Probably gonna have to have it so like once this gate's down, I actually need to kind of adjust and focus on the Lord with my... Probably just you two. So let's have uh, you two fly back up. I'll have uh, Vlad and my White King. You push forward. You push in here. Just push on in. You two are specifically trying to go for the Lord here. So try and focus on him. Try and take him out the best you can. And then I don't see any vulnerable archers right now, so we're going to hold off on that. Yeah, you. Yeah, you're starting to get a little bit of here. It's starting to go up slowly. Yeah, there we go. Now you guys are starting to make some decent damage against this guy. So yeah, so he's starting to take some good damage there. Uh, this gate is now open, so we can start having you start capturing points. I basically have the flyers yet to stay around here in case they start fighting anybody, so we can have some, some additional support. Necromancer. You at the moment. Yeah, the intensity is going up there. Yeah, I want to get you a little closer and basically have it so you like stand just on the very edge of the battle. I do think Isabella at this point in time. I see a massive fucking blob right here. This is a beautiful blob right, right here. Yeah, like right there. You'll get a pretty good size amount of... Yeah, 8,000 damage for that. That is not bad. Also starts kicking in some healing there. Because you're almost done with this guy. The, the Lord's almost dead. Vlad and my White King are pushing on in and doing some pretty good damage to their melee down here. Once this guy's dead, I can get you to start helping out a little bit. Isabelle, if anything, I'll try and give you guys just boost to my units so they have more attack to make it so to kill things faster. Lord's almost down. Just need to finish him off. He is crumbling. Yeah, he's just about to die there. Necromancer, how you doing, my man? Yeah, you've got up to 20% right now. So now I'll just have it so all of you start rushing on in there. My Necromancer, since you're not mounted right now, I'm going to get you up here. I'll try and get you a little bit closer. They're already starting to do pretty poorly there. I love that. Uh, Isabella, let's see. I think I'm going to have you do another big-ass thing, like right about here, basically. That should get all of these guys. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, she's up to 18,000 damage now. Beautiful. Love that. Let's see. So now I should probably go check on... So over here, you guys have captured one point. Just keep capturing more. Right over there. But yeah, Necromancer. Oh, good. You just got out of the way. They tried to summon the Ushabti on top of you. You know. You know. Because now, he can just keep healing things up here. And he's just standing nearby, helping out. And then honestly, like, they, they thought I was said I was going to lose, like, most of this crap back here. Hell no. There we go. Now I was able to finally move my Necromancer into the area that was struggling the most. So yeah, now you guys, yeah, there you go. Really ramp that up there as quickly as you can. Get as much healing over here as you possibly are able. How much is that going up for you guys? Oh, actually, quite a, quite a bit. If Isabella gets some more healing over here, we'll be able to save more of you guys. Because at this point in time, um, I don't know why it's stop moving there. But yeah, you're supposed to be making your way over here. Keep capturing points. Vlad and everybody else. Uh, start trying to deal with the big guys. What the fuck is going on? Those are just the horses? Yeah, those are just the normal horses. Okay, yeah. It's so, like, they're the only ones, like, really doing anything that actually matters. Everybody else, though, especially now that I got my Necromancer here to try and give you guys some really good amount of healing. Like, yeah, he's... He's almost ma He's Yeah, he's now maxed. He's now maxed out at this point in time. So now, you can just keep trying to heal everybody up around here. Get a really good amount of healing there. Isabella can keep kind of boosting there a little bit. Also heal up my other vampire. God, I love how much healing we have as the uh, as the vampire counts. It's like, this side over here is doing amazing. Uh, I've been able to capture a couple points. They've got more guys making their way up. I feel like they're about to hit army losses, though, at this point. Seeing as how I've been able to do a hell of a lot of damage to them here. Got a couple skirmishers. But for the most part, the legions of undead continue making their way into the forces of the Tomb Kings, where you guys may have been the first to get access to necromancy. people. Man, you have not honed your skills nearly as much as we have. Because at this point, especially now that I've got all of these heroes, I love that by default my armies are always going to have a lot of heroes, or like they really usually should have a lot of heroes. Because that just usually benefits, uh, like, it's not my, oh there we go, army losses. It's not my basic infantry that does a lot of damage. Although, my Graveguard 
been doing good. My my graveguard have been doing really well. I, I think I'm always going to keep at least a couple graveguard in this army. I don't think I'm going to ever get rid of them. I did lose, like, one guy. That's fine. Necromancer technically didn't do anything, technically, but uh, he did help out with a lot of healing he did for some units. Because I feel like at least having, like, at least three graveguard, maybe four... Because I like the idea of having three to four Graveguard. I do want to put some Handgunners in this army. Have some Terror Geist and then Blood Knights. It, it, it's going to be almost like a corrupted version of the army I made with um, Carl Franz when I did my Carl Franz campaign. Um, I, I feel like that's going to kind of almost be what Vlad's army is. And I, I really like that. But no, now at this point in time. Yeah, I lost one spear, uh, Skeleton Spearman, but I was trying to put a banshee in this army anyways so i'll bring her over here put her in this in this army then uh there's just one more city that i need to take from you guys and i think basically before we kick off our war with the empire which is coming uh basically we'll be having it so that i will be trying to do the vlad car von karstein ring thing Let's see you guys got some steeds potion of toughness like that it will secure this territory and we then finish that mission hell yeah there we go Okay, I... Let's see, so she's almost here. Yeah, she'll be here, like, basically next turn. So you can do that. Vlad, again, needs to keep upgrading his yellow line. Isabella, get this first. Then, I want to, I want you to get Arcane Conduit, and then we'll start upgrading your yellow line, too. You need to keep getting more health. You... I don't know how I actually want to upgrade you. I guess... I'll have you be another caster, I guess, that can do this stuff too. Yeah, because I want to have it so that... Like, this will eventually be able to be upgraded. Yeah, I think it's okay. You, this guy's specifically, I get training, get the spread control, but then start maxing out your own personal stuff there. So that's what you're going to be doing. You keep scouting up around here. And then this this turn, I do want you to try and go to a different city and see if we can get more steel technology. Because I'm curious if it's per... Oh, actually, turns remaining. Four. Oh, okay. So I see how it is. So if I have a bunch of necromancers going around there, then that's how I'd probably get it to stack up a ton. Um, Castle Drakenhof here, though. Let's see. So... Let's see... I will want to get defenses at some point. I do think for right now, though, we need more money. So we're going to get one of the economic buildings. But also... Um... I could get this. I just wanted to get these stuff, too. But I can't get that just yet, anyways. Let's get some more vampire corruption in the area. Uh, personally, I think we should get the defenses. I, I need to make sure I've got a good garrison around here at all times. So I think we'll get that. Then also I can upgrade this and this will let me get better grave guard. But I think for right now, let's see if there's anything else for money. Oh, well, I can upgrade this territory at least. So we can do that. And then I think we'll just save my money for right now. Just need to finish off these Tomb Kings, which I should be able to do next turn, I think. Once they're dead, uh, then we're going to just have it so we gather up a full stack army and then I really want to do my uh, other quest battle I have because then I'll have a great way to get a ton of ward save and you guys want to ask for peace now I'm not giving you peace there's no way in hell not at this point in time I do know once I kill you though, that's going to really piss off the empire because I'm going to be now bordering them directly which once I do the von Karstein ring though, thing though I think it's going to be fine we're, we're going to be able to start like really washing all over them I do hate how the dwarves are doing to my east if I'm ever going to make a second army, it's going to be dealing with the dwarves. But for right now, I know Vlad is going to be pushing hard into the Empire once we deal with uh, these Tomb Kings. Which, depending on who I want to start with. Technically, at least, I am kind of uh, bolstered against Gelt a little bit. Be at war with Zulfbar. I'm getting there. Eh, it kind of takes me tempting to get me to go over here and do that. But yeah, I am curious. Like, have you... Your technology. Failed this time. That's okay. Keep having you do that. And then just keep being specialist upgraded there. Because you can keep just scouting around there. Same with you. These are... Yeah, those are scaven over there right now. Okay. Vlad is able to get over here. Now the question is... Can my... Oh my god, are you going to make me lose fucking units for this? 
I can barely get you over here. There we go. I lose a singular zombie. That's fine. A singular zombie is okay. That That's fine. I'm not opposed to losing that. But now, at least, I have the territory. I have been able to destroy the Legion's attempt. Now, what I want to try and do is we're going to be trying to have it. So, I need to replenish my troops. And then, I think we can start trying to do that quest battle. I feel like... Okay, so, I'm going to get rid of this zombie. I'm going to have you be the Crypt Ghouls, because that's just a better melee unit. Um... Let's see, we've gotten two blood kisses. Tomb guard. I can't recruit those guys right now. Um, I will want to stay around over here. I hate that we just don't have a whole lot of like, really good units. I can just get another bat boy. I can get another bat boy for us. Otherwise, I should probably maybe just get some more skeleton spearmen. I like the bat boys though, just because of the fact to be able to flank units. Let's put that. Research now. Um, I want to upgrade some melee attack. I want to get over here so we can start getting stuff for Grave Guard and everything. So yeah, start trying to get this stuff here. Also reduces their upkeep. So, start grabbing that. Yes. Vlad here. I need you at more melee defense. Or no, actually, I should get you health. Getting you more health early on is really yes. fucking useful. Let's get that upgrade there. Bow. You need to get more defenses. I am unstoppable. Uh, upgrade that. You need to get more def I'll get more training there first. And then you um, increase mobility for sure, and then get more weapon strength. And then, I think we just need we need two turns. We need about two turns, and then I will have everything ready. Um, I think we'll basically just sit here for that time for right now. So basically, let's have you get more some growth in this area. Basically spend two turns of kind of developing ourselves, and then we're going to do the quest battle once this army is fully replenished. Honestly, pretty surprised that I wasn't immediately given war by the Empire. Um, let's see. Uh, y yeah. F fuck you guys. I'm taking that. I, I, I'm not taking a minus four penalty right now. Honestly, do I want to just do my quest battle now? There's only a few guys that are really beat up. Like, I can probably do my quest battle right now, I think. It's because the sooner we get that out of the way, the better, because then I can start trying to deal with... I'm probably going to be going to war with Averheim first. Because for right now, at least, I'd probably like to focus over here a bit more, but there's the river. So I actually have to cross, and I think I actually have to cross, like, over here. So I think I'm actually kind of pretty protected against Gil. So I think for right now, though, uh, let's then have it. So we probably want to go for, out of all these territories, probably Averheim itself first, I think. So let's go up here. And then I will, I think we're going to do the quest battle. So the Von Kostein Ring. Because that one gives me just 20% ward save by default. It's just a, such a fucking good item. Oh yeah, our, our power is so much stronger. Also gives you blood kisses. So let's do this. Oh my god, yeah, the ba bounce power says it. Like, if this is it, which I doubt that this is all that it is, um, we are going to destroy them. But we will claim the Von Kostein Ring. And then I think I will be ready to start focusing on the Empire. Because at this point in time, I've got a full stack army for myself. My economy is starting to do better. And I would like to make a second army at some point uh, to start trying to help us out. But I think we'll focus on our economy a little bit more still. Because, for the most part right now, my south is defended. My east is a little precarious because, again, the dwarves. But if I can get, like, I, I need to just get Vlad his full, his endgame army. Like, his army's doing well. I'd like to get a couple more uh, Grave Guard in here, if anything, at least for a temporary amount of time, just to replace the basic spearmen and skeletons, because those guys are okay. I know we'll want to keep the Vargeist. I want to keep, I want to get a second one of him at some point. I just can't recruit those guys just yet, and I have to get very lucky that there's just a high amount of casualties. So this this battle right here, honestly, hello Leopold Posner. Let's see, let's see. Hopes of a speedy raid against the mine and thwarted. This site was uh, claimed by a king of Stratagogi. No swarms. So he doesn't like that I'm trying to go here. Mine puppets, do me this deed. Purge the area of insects, so thy master could collect this warp stone unchallenged. So we're getting warp stone. Ah. If my memory serves, then I sought out such material in Mordheim some centuries ago. Halcyon days, when my minions hunted Wildstone, and the Empire was in ruins, as it will be again. Fetch me the head of this Strigoi. I would have this nuisance quashed. Let's do it. 
because I think we should be able to fuck him up pretty easily. So, let's see. Vanguard deployment. Oh, yay. <laughs> okay, so again, we'll do all of you guys grouped together. The Necromancer will be his own little group, and he'll be trying to basically support. And then all of my Cav group up, and then we'll just go right on up into his fucking face. So, yo. And then have my infantry here. And then I'll have my Necromancer. All the flyers kind of near you to help protect you. And then Cav kind of off to the right side. So, start the battle. Let's see. So, has been granted special powers by Nagash, though, respects my more minimies. Indefinitely. Well, we're going to focus him the fuck down as soon as we possibly can. I might actually have you guys go for possibly dealing with the uh, force uh, or his. I need the the Moore's engine is the other like really difficult thing that we're gonna have to deal with. But yeah, you at least stay kind of near these Grave Guard, kind of keep trying to support them. Actually, if you guys go for this one unit of Fell Bats, Cav, kind of go around. But yeah, let's see. So this the Goy, I think he's gonna get fucked. Oh, my vampire's taking a little bit of damage there. That's okay. I think you guys would be fine. Because for right now, you're just trying to deal with them. At least we don't have a lot of units over here, so like the Mortis Engine's not doing well. Social Rise right, again, only this time far stronger than before. Okay, that's not what I want to see in here. So let's try and have it. So yeah, let's get over here. Let's see, I need to try and focus on... It's like the moment, you guys are just trying to push on in here. I don't have a lot of AoE damage. I have the I have this. That's about it. So I might as well use it. Necromancer. Okay, you make sure to stay around these guys. Keep boosting them. Uh, yeah, he just summoned those Graveguard units. He didn't have Graveguard initially in this army. Okay, but yeah, I got my cab and you guys making your way out in here. And for the most part, like, we're doing good damage over here. They're crumbling. I just don't like how the Lord can't get over to him right now. Like, you guys are doing fine over here. Like, the rest of his army is, like, really weak. It's just him that's an issue. I actually kind of hate that I don't have the ability that lets me do the whole, uh, hey, you're flying, take AoE damage. That actually would have been really good for this fight, actually, now that I think about it. Honestly, if this is all he's spawning out at the time right now, this is actually not that bad. It's just he's spawning out, like, one unit occasionally. He's got some stuff over here, which I can just have Isabella keep trying to use some winds of magic at her. I do kind of wish she had Pendulum. Sadly, she doesn't. Because, like, this army, I'm trying to have you guys focus on Leopold. Try and focus him down first. And then I have it so, like, this army here. Basically, I want to get the uh, Necromancer. I want to get you over here to kind of help out. Because at the moment right now, uh, we're, we're winning this fight. Now that we're starting to push through him a little bit, that's going great. I have to be wary of the Mortis Engine. Because like, you guys are almost done over here. I'll have you guys make your way over to help out as well. Because like once this Graveguard unit is dead, then we can make my way over here. Try and help finish off these guys. Like, you're at least at the moment trying to focus on him. Actually, I think I should get my Necromancer specifically. Just how much is he be able to get this up? So a little bit. So I'll have it so you'll actually... Because yeah, you're at 50% of that. I'm going to have you go over, and I'm going to have you stand near the Lords right now. Because they're the ones that have actually kind of taken a little bit more of the damage. Everybody else, yeah, just get in in here. Try and start healing you guys up. Because you've taken quite a bit. And I hate that at the moment Vlad is stuck over here. I'm trying to get him to help out over here. So, yeah, Necromancer, you are the healer. So try and get over this way. Try and, try and hide behind these Graveguard. Try and hide behind them, and then you'll actually get more healing in general to the army. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, right there is good. So just stand there. I don't like that damage you just did to him. Isabella, try and heal him up. Try and heal you guys up as much as you possibly can. God, he's getting a lot of fucking healing. Let's see, these are... Oh, he's got a graveguard here now at this point. I hate you. You're taking forever to die. Actually, these guys never properly died over there. Like, we're doing good damage. It's just the fact... Oh, Vlad finally is almost over here. Okay, you guys need to focus this more goddamn Mortis Engine down. It's not dying, and I can't let that thing stay around doing its AoE damage. So, try and focus down the Mortis Engine. 
Come on. Yeah, that, that's dying way faster. I don't like how my vampire is taking some damage. At least my necromancer, like, you've got good healing on everybody around here. So just keep that up. Try and focus down the Morris engine first. Then we'll have it so we'll focus down Leopold. Because once the Mortis engine's dead, I don't have to worry about being blobbed up like I am right now. Because that's why I'm happy I've been able to keep it over here. Necromancer, step away a little bit. We don't want you to be too close to him. And are you a heal cap? I think you are. Yeah, you're just about to hit heal cap. Okay, so I'm going to want to get you out of there in a second. There we go. Okay, Mortis engine is dead. Now try and focus on Leopold himself. Because at this point in time, Necromancer, you've got your stuff maxed out. So I just have to have you stay around here. And you're just giving a massive amount of healing to my entire army, which is perfect. So you just keep doing that. And then for right now, I wish I did have a direct damaging spell. Because I'm trying to get you guys to focus on this guy. He's got all of his uh, Grave Guard here, but with me having the passive healing, and he doesn't have any healing now. Oh, did he just finally hit a uh, healing cap? He's got a lot of fucking health. Yeah, he does have free gen. Did you hit a uh, healing cap now at this point? Because everybody should be trying to kill this bastard. There we go. Now he's starting to get his leadership cr crumbling. There we go. He's trying. He's trying to run. Trying to run. But at this point in time... He should die any second now, I think. Now that we've been able to surround him like this. There we go. There's army losses. It just took me to... I literally had to kill everything but him. I was trying to focus him down first, but that just didn't work. But no, there we go. Now we've been able to claim the Von Karstein ring. Beautiful. I'm really happy about that. Now I'm going to be far stronger to try and deal with the Empire now at this point. Like, how much damage do we do? 300 kills on the Blood Knights. Damn. Yeah, Vlad didn't get to do a lot. He kind of kept getting stuck. Yeah, 200 kills there. 25,000 catches. I really, again, this is why I like having you guys in here. I like having these Grave Guard because they actually do a decent amount of damage. 300 kills. I'm surprised you did so much damage, actually. I'm actually pleasantly surprised that that thing did so much damage there. But no, there we go. I now have the Von Karstein ring at this point in time. So now, what we'll be doing is in the next video, we'll be starting our war, probably with Averheim, I think. I might start I might start a second small army, actually, now that I think about it. If I can at least get a, vamp, uh, a uh, necromancer for that other army, I can easily start some small little army. I don't know if I'm going to use the bloodline lords just yet. I kind of want to try and make some of the joke armies, uh, joke lords that we uh, had in the name list. Because um, I think I want to kind of do that first. Let's try and have it so uh, I need the money. Grab the money there. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, that's going in my army immediately. Oh, yeah, because now I've got the Varko on Karstein ring. I'm I'm gonna get rid of I think just a basic skeleton warrior yeah I'm getting rid of you I'm putting this guy in here immediately because I, again I want two of them I want two of these and I think that's gonna be the perfect one to have in there I can't get to Averheim this turn but I think we need to sit here a turn anyways to recover so Vlad again get more health for you Isabella you again I'm, I'm now gonna learn from my mistake and now get this so at least one of us has that ability. You need to get the Dark Benediction thing. Lord you... Let's see. Magic Missile. Raise dead. I wanted to see if I can have you start getting some spells uh, that will do more damage. Yes. You need to keep any more defenses. Oh, actually. That and that. Or you, same deal. More defenses. I more movement know. range. And then you're good with that. But I think Vlad at least... We'll have him sit here for a turn just to get more replenishment. Although, no, actually, we should have him still sitting on the edge. So that way, we'll be able to possibly hit Averheim next turn. Um, but I... Who do I want to awaken? I think... I kind of want to get the weapon strength upgrade. I do want to get the guns at some point, though, too. Also, the control province. I'm going to go with this one. We'll go with that, because then I now will be able to start getting crossbow um, eventually. So I will have it, so we'll try putting some of those into my army at some point. But I do think this is probably going to be a pretty good place to be done for today. Um, I do want to have it so, like, hey, you keep stealing tech. Oh, he failed. God damn it. He's wounded now. Um, I can at least keep building some stuff up. So, like, hey, you give me a little bit more money from that. I should upgrade this. Keep trying to upgrade my economy the best we can. Like, you can do that. This area over here, we already have the resource. Um, 
Again, this area here. One, this one actually... No, you should be safe. I don't need to get that there. I can upgrade this. And then I would say, again, more gibbets. <laughs> I want more money right now. My economy is just so low right now. But I'll be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts about it in general? This ramp paint. I'll see you guys next time. Here. One, this one actually... No, you should be safe. I don't need to get that there. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.